Hey everyone, it's Jason. Uh, today we have a unboxing for the Barking Kittens Expansion for Exploding Kittens. This is the third one coming after Imploding Kittens, which has a really huge box. Um, and then Streaking Kittens, which has a really little tiny pack. Um, and this is, uh, uh, so Exploding, Imploding, Streaking, and now we have Barking. Um, so it's kind of a bunch of new cards. Um... Ooh, and a bonus gift is probably just something for the app. Um, new keywords, stuff like that. I've already unwrapped it just because it takes a little bit longer. Uh, but let's see what's in the box. So first of all, we have this. I do what I want. This is the kitten crown. Which when you fold... Probably not going to get it done very well, but it makes a cylinder, if it is folded better, and it's got paws on the side, or printed on, but it's got little feet, and you put this on top of your head, um, and it's part of the game. Um, other games they have, Bears vs. Baby, you can check out my video for that. Uh, on a scale of 1 to T-Rex, it's like a charades game. I do not own that one yet. Exploding Kittens, check out all the expansions. And Throw Throw Burrito, which I also believe I have one for. Oh, this is my, my special gift with the secret code that I'm not going to show you. Don't worry, it's not a dead bird. Um, so here's the inside of the box. Uh, woof, 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 bark, woof, arf, row, woof, ruff, ruff. Uh, they're trying to be dogs. Uh, and there they've dug up the ground. There's a tennis ball. They have an exploding kittens card in there and some dog treats. Which say nom nom. It's funny. Um, otherwise, yeah, nothing special there. There's the deck of cards. Let's look at the rule book. Hey, you bought an expansion pack. That means at least one core edition of Exploding Kittens. The original, not safe for work, or party pack. Um, which I have the original and not safe for work. I don't believe I've bought the party pack yet. Uh, because it's the same, I, there's a couple different cards, but it's just, it's hard to keep buying essentially the same base game. Um, each Exploding Kitten expansion has a specific setup instructions for playing with multiple expansions. Be sure to follow. Remove all Exploding Kittens, all the diffused cards as normal. Then remove the Tower of Power card from the Barking Kittens expansion. Combine all the remaining cards with them and then deal 7 cards. Deal 1 diffused card to each player. Uh, for a total size of 8, keep your hand secret. Insert any extras back into the deck. Uh, deal an additional, eight additional cards. Put them on the table, and then put the power of tower on top or near them. This is the stash. There's your tower of power. It's that cat hat. Hat cat. Uh, insert tower power card and enough exploding kittens back in the deck. So there's one fewer exploding kittens than the number of players. So for a four player, you have three. That way, eventually, that's what I love about this game, is that eventually some, everyone will lose. The game will end. It's not like it can go on forever. Uh, remove any exploding kitten. Shuffle the deck. Uh, play first. Uh, faster variant. Alright. Now we're going to get to the different cards. We have some barking kittens. Tower of Power. I'll take that. We have some Alter the Futures. Share the Futures, some Berries, Personal Attacks, Super Skips, Potlucks. Um, stop, don't read this section if you aren't playing the Shrieking Kittens. Uh, really, we never released this card, but we did to hear all the dumb Curse of the Butt Cat. Um, that's funny. If you're playing blind, you may not look at the... Okay, just kind of explaining how some of these work with blind ability. Alright. 
I could read through all them, but let's just get into it and then if we don't understand the cards as you do. Uh, before I flip these over, just a warning, this is probably not safe for, uh, I mean it's, it is, it is 7 plus, it is a party game, um, so not to say that it's not, not like an adult dirty game, but there might be some I images or pictures on here that are a little bit more graphic or detailed than people might like, uh, so I'm just giving you the heads up now, if you don't like sensitive images, don't watch this video um all right well let's see what we got let's zoom in a bit so we have alter the future times three now um get that permeable is on make it bold pierre make it fearless so privately view and rearrange the top three cards top three cards of the draw pile play it any time so they've had uh, alter the future before uh, but I think now means you can it's a play at any time thing I think that's why they included that uh, so you have alter the future consult with a business scope now there's time to diversify your portfolio I'm thinking wheat I'm thinking grains we have some personal attacks so these are some more attacks uh, listen to the boasting of some very accomplished trout uh, so take three cards in a row. So it's a times three. Uh, frequently people comment how attractive my shoes are worth more than your life. A trout is wearing shoes. It's weird. Uh, give yourself a spear spanking. Sloppity slop slop slop. We have the barking kitten. Woof woof. I am a good boy. Uh, if someone has a barking kitten. They may they give you half their cards. If someone has a barking kitten, they give you half their cards. Choose and return the same number of cards. Otherwise, you keep this card in front of you. Interesting. Uh, so share the future. Send in the recon sloth. Package is left the building. I repeat, package left the building about three hours ago. <laughs> Uh, view and rearrange the top three cards of the draw pile, then show the cards to the next player. Um, sure. Listen to the words of an emu, emo emu. I stand in the rain, manure and pain. My feathers can feel the darkness is real. He's got a spiked collar on and everything. Uh, the emo haircut. Uh, we have another personal attack. Get cursed at by a heck beaver. You are humongous, grumpy butt scallion, and I scoogle and just butt at your bloated jumblies. Oh, damn. Uh, another personal attack. Finally, throw up all the crayons you ate when you were a kid. Oh, nice. Uh,. Another barking kitten. Wolf, wolf, stay away from my yard or I will come to make loud noises. I'll take that. Send a seagull in who steals things. I will raise this child as my own. Put this card in front of another player to steal the next card they draw from the draw pile. Send in the Kepco clap. Not to point any fingers, but did you take my swim trunks? Nope, these are mine. Uh, send in the vamp pug. A vampire pug, that's just funny. Uh, the hedge, hedgehog hogs the blankets. Uh, we have a super skip. Hitch a ride on a corgi horse. End your turn without drawing a card. If you're supposed to take multiple turns, end them all. Uh, Barry. Uh, clean up while your cat watches. That right, Barry, my filth, Shannon. End your card by secretly putting the next card you draw back into the draw pile as if you had defused it. Oh, that's interesting. So you draw up, then you decide where you put it back. Um, bury something that probably shouldn't be buried. And then we have potluck. Share with a group of cat. Share with the group at Catnip Anonymous. High in patches and I'm an addict. Eye patches. 
Starting with you and going in the direction of playing around the table, each player puts a card on top of the draw pile. Oh boy, stacking the deck. Uh, dog pile until it reaches the star. Stars. And then we have the Tower of Power card. Place the Tower of Power upon your head and fill it with stash cards. Anytime someone steals from you, they blindly draw from the top of the tower. When you, f when you feel like it, take a card from the top of the tower and shuffle the rest into the draw pile. It's kind of an odd. There's something that you could leave out if you didn't want to do that. Um, now that we've read those, let's actually look at the rules a little bit more and see what they do. So, Barking Kitten, play space up in front of you, asking for another, and ask for the other Barking Kitten. If any player has it, uh, you are, they're your target and must give you half their cards. Okay, so you keep it in front of you and then you try and find someone who has a second one. Uh, combine them in your hand and then choose and return the same number of cards back to them. If no one has the other Barking Kitten, leave the card in front of you. You cannot play it again and it is not part of your hand. When someone plays the other Barking Kitten, you are the target. If you get both, even if you already played one, you play them together and make any player the target. Like all kittens, Barking Kittens can be noped, or cannot be noped. Um, I'll take that. Okay, so that's how that works. I'll take that. Place this card face up in front of another player. The next time they draw a card, you must see, they must secretly secretly view and hand it to you. If they hand you an exploding kitten, you must defuse it or explode it. Uh, play continues after that player had drawn the card and ends their turn. You cannot play this card in front of a player who already has one. Okay, so basically they get to see it so they know what they're handing you, uh, but they can't do anything about it. Uh, Barry, end your turn by drawing a card. After looking at it, put it back into your deck into the draw pile angry like, uh, like a diffuse card, but you must return the card to the draw pile as if it was not, even if it was not harmful. Uh, you cannot play the card, you cannot play this card if you have an I'll take that in front of you. When playing with the imploding kitten dispension, when Barry is played on an imploding kitten, leave the imploding kitten in in the orientation you drew it, face up or face down when putting it back. Okay. Makes sense. Um, personal attack. Take three turns in a row. Take your first turn as normal. Player pass. Then when your turn is over, it's your turn two more times. Uh, if you play another attack card, personal attack, normal attack, on any of your turns, your target must take any remaining turns. Your target must take any of your remaining turns plus the number of attacks on the card just played. Oh, so you could actually like do a personal attack to gain three cards or turns and you could like target it to somebody else. That's mean. Um, super stiff was pretty understandable and your turn without drawing a card. So that way you can avoid these personal attacks. Potlucks, turn if you go around. Uh, each player must put a card on top of the draw pile, basically stacking the deck. Um, Alter the Future. Privately view the top three cards of the draw deck, rearrange them in any order you like, and return to the top of the draw pile. Then continue their turn. Don't show the cards to other players. This card can be played even in the middle of another's turn. But not in the middle of another action. Alright, so most of these make sense. Um... Alright, and then, I won't worry about that one. It's just how to play blind. Um, put the power tower next, take the stash cards without looking, put them inside on top of your head. If anyone plays a pair of cards, a skill card, they blindly take a ram card from the tower instead. So it's not applied to favor or three of a kind. Um, on any turn, even this one, you can remove, remove the cards from the tower, which is Look at them, take one to your hand, put the rest in the draw pile, shuffle it. This is not end your turn. You have to wear it for the rest of the game. Uh, so that's kind of interesting. I could definitely see, like, playing with people and just not using that. Um, yeah, so that's a couple of new things. I mean, it's not a ton of new cards, but you don't need a ton for this game. You don't want a ton for this game, to be honest. 
Um, because every time you have more and more cards, it's gonna take that much longer and longer of a game, and that's the idea, is the game should be pretty quick. Uh, but, you know, this adds some neat, neat stuff, some interesting things to do. Uh, so yeah, that was Barking Kittens. I can't wait to throw them in and try them all. Uh, see you guys later. Bye.